Hi, my name is Max Ceron, and I'm the director here at the CWB Association. Lately, you've probably been hearing lots about robots and cobots, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between them, just to clear things up and make it a little bit more understandable to everybody. All right, we're going to start first with the robot. Now, the robot's not new. Robots have been around since the 1920s, and they're an integral part of automation and manufacturing. There's four major types of robots, but the ones that we mainly use and see are articulated robots. Those are the ones with the multiple joints that you can see move around, they can reach, they can pivot, and they can do multiple different things. The other three types, Cartesian, Scara, and Delta, these robots are built specifically for jobs that have minimal movement or high repetition or high payloads. Now robots can be anything from small to giant, but generally the most of the work that we bring these machines in for are the type of jobs that humans don't want to do, which are heavy or highly repetitive work. One of the big drawbacks of robots has always been safety. Because robots are so good at what they do, they don't stop unless you tell them to. Now we put in a lot of safety equipment into robots to make sure that people don't get hurt. But I've seen robots hurt people on site because when they're doing their job and if you get in the way of a robot, they don't know. They have no way of knowing what's going on around them other than the programming they receive. So we have light curtains, we have safety switches, we have dead man switches all these safety parameters around a robot to make sure that it's safe. So you can see there's many steps involved with getting a robot up and running and getting a robot is not as simple as calling someone and say, hey, I want a robot running by the end of the week. It's gonna take some time, there's gonna be some planning and there's gonna be some setup. Okay, now we go over to the cobalt world and we think, hmm, how is this different? Well, the main difference between cobots and a robot is that they're collaborative. So they're not looking to replace you where a robot will remove the human from the area and have the robot do the work independently. A cobot is meant to be with you side by side so that it can just help you or do some of the simple repetitive jobs for you while you're doing something else. So if you're looking at small batch repetitiveness, multiple welds of the same kind, but not endlessly, it will change maybe tomorrow or in a week, a cobot would be much more your speed. So a cobot is meant to make you more productive, not replace you, not take you out of the work sphere, but to be side by side with you in the workplace. And to do that, you have to really be safe. You're not gonna wanna work beside something that doesn't know you're there, and if you run into it, it doesn't care. Well, a collaborative robot does care. They have something called a power and force limited system, which means that if a cobot ever was to bump into you, hit you or you run into it, it will automatically stop. It has a very, very sensitive switch in there, which absolutely will not let it harm you or anybody else. Now that makes it much safer. Also, one of the things about cobots is that they're generally much smaller because you're working in a collaborative environment. You want something that's reasonable in size and easy to use. So these things are going to be smaller and more portable. You can move them around. Also, the voltage requirements are much lower. Most cobots will plug into 110 or 220 power. All of these features being collaborative, smaller, lighter, less power, brings the cost down significantly. We see cobots now in the tens of thousands of dollars, maybe even less, whereas robots can be in the millions. And the last piece is the programming. Cobots are very easy to program. Most of them require no training in terms of language or coding, merely in terms of the use and how the collaborative robot can help you. Most are set through repetition and you can physically show the cobot what you need to do and it will just copy that endlessly to your specifications. So are you gonna see these in your shop? We've already seen them in shops all over the place. Robots are everywhere. Now we've learned that robots might have been large and very useful, but they're very limited. Cobots are filling in that space now. And will you see cobots in your shop? I think you will. The prices have come down significantly. They're very easy to program. And if you're doing small batch repetitive work, smaller pieces, or even on-site repetitive work, a cobot can come in and do that work for you. You can walk away and just let it do its thing, come back later and it's done. That's very useful. All right, so if you have any questions about cobots and robots, please check out EWI. They have great videos and a whole program that explains the differences between them and how they can help you. And if you have any questions about this for me, you can reach out to Ask Max on Instagram. And of course, any questions in general for welding or for other videos, 
reach out to the CWB Association on any of our social networks. Thank you.